Hi everyone and welcome back. So in our previous video we were using Redux promises as a middleware. Okay, what we did is we have registered Redux promises while creating a store here and we are passing that Redux promises while creating the store using apply middleware. Similarly, there are many other middlewares we can use Redux Thumb, Redux Saga, Redux Logger, Redux Promises. So now we will see how we can do the same thing with the Redux Thunk. How actually Redux Thunk works, right? So we'll go to Actions because Action is the place where we will write all these code. Here is our React component. We are making a call to Actions. Okay, we are building Actions and Actions are going to the store. I mean, Actions are taking to, to the reducer and reducers are nothing but store, right? So middleware sits between this. Okay, here we have middleware, our middleware. Middleware can be your Redux thumb, Redux promises, Redux saga and all, right? So this is what we do. So this is simple example of Redux promise. Here we are passing the promise itself, right? But when we do the same thing in terms of, uh, you can say Redux thumb, then what will change? Here, this code we will not write. What we will do is, we will actually return a function. Return a function by passing dispatch and city. Okay, and here, we will actually initially dispatch one action. Action name can be simple like, uh, you can actually dispatch multiple actions. Type it fetch weather start so based on this what you can do is you can actually start some kind of a loading animation and all these things in your code and then what we can do is return axios.get some url we have and on dot then once the promise is resolved you can actually dispatch dispatch what we are dispatching is the type here we can actually do the actual fetch weather and payload will have the data. Data dot data, whatever we are getting. Okay, if you got failure from this, then you will be able to handle it in the catch. If you are getting error. And same thing, the only difference is you will be dispatching for error. Type, you can say here you will get error. Maybe there may be another way of doing it. We are just passing data of data. Okay, same thing we have done asynchronously in different way. So this is also a way of doing it. It can be simple set timeout. Set timeout is actually used for delaying our instruction. Like simple if I talk about this example. This example also helps us to understand this increment function. Here we are dispatching this increment function after some time. Right, so your this actions will wait because we are using this Redux Thunk library which will make it wait for three seconds until unless it will wait and then it will dispatch this increment action which is nothing but sending a type. This is what Redux Thunk will help us to do. Otherwise Redux doesn't understand asynchronous code. Redux is purely synchronous. This action will wait because we are using Redux Thumb. So it will wait, it will see, okay, there's a timer function and dispatch will happen after that one second only. So similarly, you can actually create all these actions. You will actually return a new function, pass dispatch, and you can dispatch based on your asynchronous call. If your asynchronous call passed, failed, this way you can actually trigger many dispatch actions like API call started, API call success with data, API call failed. These kind of actions we can simply create. Okay, so you can create a chain of reactions in that case. So if I just write it, simply uh, a different functions you can make. Like here, this is asynchronous call. I can write something like this also dispatch. First of all, this is just a function. Uh, make sandwich with uh, secret sauce. Just passing the argument, okay. This is another function. What this function is doing is this is just creating a simple object and sending it, right? Then once this promise, this particular dispatch is done, then you are making two other calls parallelly, right? So this is how it works. You can actually, based on the response from the 
one dispatch you can dispatch another actions or based on the response you are getting from an external call here we are making this api call right so if you try to convert this function using redux thunk and how it will work is we are making this api call we will just return dispatch and city right so here we can actually dispatch one initial action is this just need a initial object type is okay i am starting action okay now what we are doing is we are returning this return exios.get exios you will get it so here it is returning promise so you can actually do a dot then if we got the data then we can actually pass this data in the dispatch dispatch success or dispatch failure so this way we are able to wait for a particular promise to return and we have a catch block if we are getting error then we can do it another way start action you can say i got success and i got some data also which is data dot data i mean payload which you are sending in the redux action start action failed and if you want to send an error you can send okay something like this you can dispatch right we'll talk about this more in the coming videos thanks everyone